Happy New Year! Finally, no more 2020. And let's kick it off with a goddamn trophy, shall we? Alright friends, and welcome back. It is indeed New Year's Eve today, 30, December 31st. Even though I'm a bit of a nuphead, so I'm not going to upload it today, but in a few days, so, you know, don't say I didn't say Happy New Year. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll start off with uh, getting a bit of a trophy, because we are playing the final of the Spanish Cup. So exciting, in it? Since we're only going to do that one game, what I wanted to do is... Uh, Take you through my tactics and what I'm actually trying to do and what the heck is going on. Which admittedly is a bit of a silly t uh, time to do so, uh, considering we've been playing like shit for six games. But maybe I'll learn why doing it. I mean, we are indeed playing the vertical tiki taka, not the standard tiki taka. That's boring, and it's just passing it along, passing it along. One thing I did change was I want overlaps, because when you have Dest and Alba, you just want them to bomb down there. Also, you want your. Um, well, your wingers or inside forwards to like cut in and then have them. The underlap thing is probably proper Barcelona thing, but yeah, screw that. Anyways, by the way, cheers. Happy New Year again. I don't condone drinking, but it's New Year's and this reminds me of Denmark, so like having a little slice of uh, home. Anywho, I mean, not much to say here. Work, bo work ball into box and Barcelona. I always do whip crosses because our strikers are, well, tiny, right? So let's do that one instead. Uh, be more expressive, definitely. We have the talent to be so. Very narrow, very, very narrow because it allows, like, the build up and also pray through the middle. It allows, um, we start off as narrow and then as soon as we have the space on the, on the wings, we then exploit it, which I think works out really well. It's weird how if you want to play, like, uh, winger play, you should almost play narrow because it, it leaves more room for your wingers. At least that's how I feel. Uh, transition, definitely press as much as possible the good old Guardiola way, which is now Gegen press. But let's not forget that Guardiola was kind of already doing that way before Klopp was a thing. So, very, very standard. I do use tight marking. I don't know what in what world you would ever not use tight marking. Uh, I guess. They have fast players. Maybe that's why I struggle versus that. Who knows? I'm just going to say it's not my fault, right? It's the player's fault. Well, I mean, everything kind of explains itself right there. What I will do is... What I will mention, though, is that for for the first time in what feels like ever, I'm actually using wing backs. Uh, I usually always play full backs on attack, so they just kind of... Hmm, they bomb forward, but they also have a little bit of defensive mindset. But I don't know. I figured we're Barcelona. We're we're better than most teams in our league. So let's try out the wing backs. And like someone like Jordi Alba just loves the wing back role, right? He doesn't defend, even though he can. He he, he doesn't want to. Kind of like PK. He just wants corners to be taken and him scoring. But speaking of PK, PK and Lenglet in the back, ball playing defenders. I'm. Even when I get a, if I get a defender in, I'm training him to becoming a ball player and defender. It's what I've always done. They need to be ball players. If not, get out. Unless they are like Ryan Shawcross and their only job is to kill Messi. If you're playing versus him, then fine. But no, 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 no. Ball players all the way. So you can play out from the back. And I'm not sure about this, if it's the best thing to do with having a deep line playing mark and an advanced playmaker, but seems to work all right and to be fair it's just the role that they suit them the most Pjanic and De Jong in this case or if I put Busquets in here say it turns into defensive because that's what he likes and just put him on defensive Busquets can't run but Pjanic is a bit more supportive but <clears throat> again we should be better than most teams so it should be fine right um attacking midfielder are you I mean it depends right I love the Shadow Striker role, but I just think attacking midfielder on attack, it pushes the player to get into the box and 
and finish instead of just sitting there like some sort of deco or something. I'm thinking deco, some tiny little non-threat. That's only a threat if he has a clear goal, right? I want the attacking midfield to actually get into the box and, and do a proper threat like you see in England where they just bomb the, the nine, what's it even called? Nine yard area? I don't know. I don't, I'm not a native English. Anyway, the penalty box. Uh, yeah, that's what I want. Advance forward, if you can. I prefer to complete sometimes, but I just want Griezmann to be the spearhead. And he sometimes is. If not, Brave Dino is ready to come on and actually work. And yeah, I mean, Messi, you could put that whatever. I was thinking even Ram Raumleuter, just to let him do whatever. But inside forward just seems to work. And he, it's Messi, he'll do whatever he wants anyways. Uh, and then Fatty, inverted winger instead of the forward bit. Because he doesn't have amazing finishing, if I remember correctly. I mean, it's 14, but I kind of want him as the winger bit instead. Just to provide some options here and there. So that's the reasoning behind my tactics at least. It doesn't always work and it hasn't worked for six games in a row. So I mean I can't complain too much and with that I also kind of went through the team. So let's just get into the damn final versus Suarez and the boys. Right. My boys are hungry and motivated after watching me pump my fist. So let's get into it. I mean we're starting off hopefully well with a bit of a throw in to now the young cross in to fatty well i mean i did say we were gonna start uh possibly good right and to fatty one nil cheers to that let's see it again i mean there's not much to say right it's not extraordinary the young i mean the pass is pretty snazzy and then fatty with a cool collective finish go on fatty which by the way means like king or sultan or something like that in turkish so with if you put an h on it at the end but it's pronounced the same way factoid for you there i mean i don't know if it's proper factoid if i can't actually say the proper definition but oh well anyways seems that dedico are gonna have a go at uh scoring goals of suarez so he's pro what that did not look like a penalty to me are you joking can we be bored watching it again? What? That was clearly hit the ball. But fine. Give him all the help he needs. Because he clearly needs. He was always going to score, right? Said it before. They always score. The legends when you play versus them. But I don't want to see the penalty. Should have showed me the instant indent if you want me to see a highlight. Because that, that was bollocks. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm suddenly getting a bit worried again. So. Let's see if we can claw our way back. Let's encourage the lads since, well, I don't know, maybe they are a bit heartbroken after that referee decision. So who's taking it forward to Koke? Mm, they're just kind of stalling a bit. Savage, are we going to get this? We can press this. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I knew it. Why not, instead of heading it like that, just take it down on your chest, let it jump over you or something. You, you're no danger whatsoever. And Suarez, that was poor. Did you? Okay. Don't mind just digging there. Let's build from the back, guys. Nice and easy. The tiki tack away. Yes, let's try some of that. Jody Alba is just gonna... Is he gonna dribble? Oh, he is. He is. Go on, lads. Into Fatty. How did he miss that? Or rather, how did the goalkeeper manage to save that? That was pretty extraordinary. Kudos to Oblak. But... Ooh. Go on, lad. Go on. Oh, right at the keeper. That was a bit of a shame. Huh? What's going on here? Oh, it's, I guess we have a free kick. Messi to take it. Is he going to score? Ooh, that was close. Good save again. It's almost as if they have a pretty good keeper in it. Well, half time. Pretty dull, but let's rattle them up. I'm actually not happy. Yeah, let's do that. There's a lot more to come to you. From you. Let's do it. Let's do some more fancy build of Who do we think we are? Do we think we're some sort of Barcelona? Oh my god, as I say that. That was a gorgeous goal, wasn't it? Let's see this one again. <clears throat> the build up was, well, Barca-esque. Which is weird, because I thought we were stoked nowadays to 
Coutinho, and then he lays off to Pjanic. First touch, just a few there. Coutinho, and then he Griezmann to Fati. Yeah, that was pretty gorgeous. It's almost as if we've been training that. We have another one? I mean, it's literally the same spot in it. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, calm down. Musa. De Jong, Pjanic, Elba. It's completely open. To cross it. Ooh, Griezmann. Well, if it counts for Suarez, it also counts for Griezmann. So who am I to complain? As long as we're winning, then it's fine by me. Griezmann scores versus his former club. So 3-1. Not too bad. It was looking a bit dicey there at some point, though. Of course, Atletico are always a good team, so you never know what's going to happen. <clears throat> I think it's more a case of we're actually going to show up, which we haven't in some of the last matches that we've just not bothered. I guess you always go through a bit of a rump uh, during a season, whether it's through injuries or tiredness or whatever it is. Like There's a bit of rump where form just dips, and I guess we hit ours. Let's hope that we are out of it with a win here. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe I spoke too soon. Definitely spoke too soon. What's going on here? Say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Nerds. nerds. <laughs> Fucking nerds. Bye. Bye. All right, with that cameo, I'm going to make some changes because my team are looking a bit knackered and Dest is having a poor performance. Get him off. To be honest, Lengle as well, and he's on a yellow, so let's get our Araujo on the field. And I'm so fat he's about to die, but he's playing well, so we'll leave him out there for now. Ignore that. Yeah, leaving him out there and then doing some subs. Now it's a waste a bit of time. We will put Dembele out there. Oh, and then, well, we need to press play. Yeah, Dembele on the left. Yeah, and then we will do some more just to waste a bit of time. Even though I say waste of time, I, I, I forgot to pause the game, so... <laughs> Quickly! Oh, no, don't be like this, right? Oh, no, no, no. Herrera. Well, it's blocked and hoofed clear. Proper stoke way. Oh, go on, Petri. Fresh legs. He can do this. Just take them all on. Oh, to Griezmann. Is he going to... Again, Bob Black. Wow. Wait, what? Oh, I guess it was offside. Hmm. Yeah, they're really putting on the pressure now, aren't they? We're going to demand some more. Just end this game now. I'm not feeling confident if it's going to go to extra time. Ha! What? Arajo? Why on earth did he not attack the ball? Does he understand that we're playing football? And he's just come on the field as well. Maybe he's confused. Bless him. So, I mean, look at Arajo. So the ball's just getting... Uh, and he just stands there watching. <sighs> that is just frustrating, isn't it? Fucking scrub. Well, oh, no, no, no. Are we... Really? Coke it with the corner in slow motion, it seems. Oh my god, that was close. The Jimenez, yeah, it was scary stuff. God damn it. So we're going to go to extra time then. Start extra time. I'm far from pleased, yeah. It's a bit weird that Araujo made a, well, I would say a bit of a mistake there. So he just did that in real life. Was it yesterday or something? They drew versus Aybar, where he completely just missed the ball. He had the ball at his feet and was trying to do all sorts of weird Barcelona things instead of Stokes things. And the striker just took it and then ran down and scored. <laughs> so it was a 1-1. Oof, De Jong, that was so close. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's a very accurate simulation, this game. Oh, conduct there. Oh, no, it's a Dembele. Is that... What? Did he... Um, but now, of course, it's the French Musa Dembele striker. <laughs> it's funny how you actually have to say striker because, well, I guess French kind of ruins it as well, though. So many Dembele's out there, and when there's two Musas, 
Okay, last chance, surely, to us. Let's just end it now. I can't be dealing with a penalty shootout. Darn it. To Chris. Repent. Is this a penalty? So, I guess it's kind of like a penalty shootout. If we score the penalty, we win. If not, we get to shoot more penalties. That's scary. Come on, Griezmann. Oof. Oh, I thought Oblak had it. Oh my god, I was so scared there. Defensive! Yes. Whew. Fire up. Yeah, let's fire them up. That was... I mean, it struck so hard that he obviously doesn't have a chance, but he was close. And there we go. Barcelona are champions of this... What was it? Spanish Cup. Yay! It's what we've always dreamt of. We are so happy. Look at my fancy suit there, rocking the Barcelona colors. Cheers to that. And once again, good Happy New Year. I mean, it's practically like New Year's celebration, this, isn't it? So, I'll leave it there. And uh, till next time, I hope you have a good New Year's Eve and all that. And let's pray for a better 2021. And see you next time. Cheers!